Ask Reddit Thread. Gamers of Reddit, what are some of the strangest things you've heard over an open mic? I was playing GTA Online and some dad was on and I heard, Daddy, can you help me with my homework? He just said sure and helped her out with adding fractions while still kicking everyone's ass. It was just weird that he was taking on SWAT with airstrikes and RPGs while helping his daughter. Even some people in the game helped out. God damn it, again with the fucking sticky bombs, you asshole. By the way, the answer is 5 over 2. <laughs> wow, improper factions, that kid is badass. Alright, um. That's a lot of replies. Not really strange as in creepy, but I was playing a S. no, CSGO match when a kid on the team yelled, ha, get fucked, after getting a kill. Then our entire team hears him screaming, crying, and begging for forgiveness from his mother, beating him for cussing that loud. <laughs> he kind of got beat up with a set of jumper cables. Nah, his dad is what does that. You call me a what again, boy, and I'll break you, and I'll break out the jumper cables. I got stuck with a clan on Call of Duty Modern Warfare that said white power almost every minute. Wow. That sounds more like a clan to me. A cool kids clan? They were watching a golf tournament and asking, what par? <laughs> I was playing World of Tanks on Xbox 360, and this guy on my team who was playing a German tank was blaring German military music from World War II over the mic. It wasn't strange, more so an out of the blue sort of thing. He was trying to play the part. If I was playing a German tank, you better believe it, I'd have Pan Panzer lead on the background. I think I would start playing the Star Spangled Banner when I play a US tank now. Definitely. Actually, no. It should be America. Fuck yeah. Come again to save the motherfucking day. <laughs> I love Team America. So lick my ass and suck on my balls. America. Fuck yeah. Can you imagine? Cursing through woods, searching out an enemy. Suddenly, a shell crashes into the side armor, and this tank goes streaming across the screen. American flag waving, and all you hear is mad cackling and mad cackling and loud music. The tank fades into the distance, and one final line makes it to your ears: "Suck on my balls." I may need to start to doing this. I was in a co-op mission in WW2 Flight Sim. There was about 16 of us playing and one guy was pretty wasted. We were cruising along on the way to the target area when suddenly we start hearing snoring. Loud snoring. Some guy started yelling, wake up, but to no avail. Shortly after we heard a loud crashing and rattling over comms. Followed by an, aw oh, fuck, son of a bitch, I'm fucking bleeding. Guy passed out and smashed his head on the floor. Couldn't finish the mission because we were all laughing so hard. <laughs> Older lady told me I had a sexy voice and wanted me to recite the alphabet slowly. Hmm, yes, read me the alphabet, you hunky man. Horny old kindergarten teacher gotta get off somehow. A, B, C, D, ah, yes. Let us reflect on that letter for a while. Um, E. <laughs> Oh shit, I got called a bedroom voice several times by a receptionist at the hospital the other day. I was thinking she was making fun of me, but I didn't really, but I didn't care because it cracked me up. But she pulled some strings and did some helpful stuff for me and finished up by saying, Now you have yourself a wonderful day, Mr. Bedroom Voice. It made my day. Not to mention the lady she got to call me back at home seemed really happy to talk to me. I'm sure she was told my new nickname. Oh, my mouth always gets really dry reading this. Rated with a gull, darn black wing lair. Rated with a oh, rated with a gal during black wing lair who had two kids around the same age. It's around 11 p.m. and we'd hear these elementary school age kids say stuff like "Mommy, we're hungry," and she responds with "Not now, mommy's raiding." We booted we booted her after months though because she's an awful healer. <laughs> Also, there was the off-tank during Black Temple that lived with his mother for cultural reasons. Every now and then, we'd hear his mom start shouting at him in some North African language, and he'd start shouting right back. 
Dude was a complete fuckwad would not use push to talk. Real arrogant motherfucker, but a great tank that we had trouble replacing. It's worse when she's a horrible healer, but her husband's a good tank. <laughs> We had a duo like that. Super nice people, but the wife priest just wasn't pulling her weight. They stepped down after we found a replacement off tank. They formed a B team of sorts when ZG came out and were some awesome organizers for our casual side. I've heard terrible stories of entire guilds being funk being fractured over shit like that though. The last guild I raided with had several groups. IRC, this was TBC, so I may not. We had a tank slash healer combo, a mage slash priest combo, and maybe a rogue slash druid combo. It never caused a problem since they were all skilled, and since we had 27 accounts to fill 25 raid spots. There was rarely any drama over people getting sat. In fact, there was more drama over not getting to sit once in a while than the opposite. Let's see, haha, ha. we had a couple like that. Nice people, and he tagged along as off tank because the main tank was his aunt. One of the most ballingly awesome tanks I played with. And he brought his girlfriend along, who was so bad at playing mage, my warlock imp once did more damage than her. <laughs> I've known a lot of people like that. We were doing Karazhan, Shade of Iran, in the final phase, which was the DPS race before he just punked everyone. The fight went south, and only me and the mage remained. We had heroism cast on us just before the shaman died. I did as much burst as possible, and we won by one second. About two minutes later, the off tank, his girlfriend, and the main tank left after going apeshit on the comms, and the normalcy dock hole and silent shaman erupted into a torrent of abuse on Ventrilo because the mage was wanding Aran when she was on full mana with heroism. Our little raid group never raided again. Oh, wow. What a bad mage. God, my best raiding days were with this Shami slash DK wife slash hubby combo. They were sitting right next to each other and had this and the synergy was strong. It also helped that she was really good and he was a god. The amount of times that he finished Bossel solo with everyone else dead for the last 40 seconds was just stupid. She was also the guild leader. It's like the two of them sat down and said, hey babe, wanna beat WoW together? Okay, cool. I uh, was playing League while talking to some guys over TeamSpeak. Dude says he'll be right back, but leaves his mic on. Out of nowhere, you hear him and his dad get into a massive fight. When the fight was nearly over, we heard the dad scream, and why does your room smell like shit? And the kid replies, because I shit in it. <laughs> Dude hasn't been back on the TeamSpeak since. <laughs> gross. <laughs> People are gross. <laughs> Don't think he actually shat in his room. Probably just a mad reply. Ever heard of poop stock? I will eat you and shit you out so I may fertilize my garden with your soul. This is amazing. I'm stealing it. Yeah, that is a pretty good insult. All credit goes to this guy, but I thought this was a really good story given the question. I have legitimately heard someone on my team break up with a girl during a game of Dota on voice. <laughs> he was using open mic, and she was like, get off that stupid game, take me out to dinner, in this horrible, entitled voice. After around 10 minutes of him being calm and saying things like, it's okay, baby, just let me finish this game. I will get punished if I leave. And her just not understanding that she issued an ultimatum. If you don't turn that game off right now and take me to dinner, I am leaving. Then he just typed out in chat, pause, please, need to break up with my girlfriend. <laughs> And everyone lulled and paused, and the dude just went fucking ballistic, like, This is my apartment. You stay here on my dime. I buy you all your food. I give you money to go shopping. You don't get to issue ultimatums to me when you don't have shit without me. Get the fuck out of my apartment. This relationship is over. Then it was lots of her crying and yelling, bringing up all this shit he did wrong in the past, as if that was going to help, and eventually she said, Sorry, relationship is over. I don't care. Bring a truck... And one of those douchebag bar guys you love to fuck so much to get your stuff tomorrow. See if any of them are willing to clothe, feed, house, and fuck you. And everyone in voice chat just went, ooh. And we were typing everything that was happening to the enemy team. He eventually got her out of the apartment, and boy, did it s sound like the guy had a world of pleasure off his shoulder. A world of pressure off his shoulder. After the game, I friended him. We still talk on Steam sometimes. He really... He really ended their relationship and ended up just putting all her shit in storage locker when she didn't come back and get it for a week. He has a new girl now who apparently isn't as awful. 
Thank you for the credit. Update on the guy. He is single again, but got a promotion at work and is making a lot more money now. He is thinking of selling his truck and buying a BMW Z4. I'm trying to convince him to get a well-kept Porsche Boxer instead. I think he is coming around. <laughs> That's hilarious. Not too strange, but a guy I raid with has voice activation instead of push to talk. So occasionally we hear will hear him talking to his wife or daughter. Some examples. Where is the remote? I don't know. Love you, baby. To which the whole guild responds and aws. Love you twos and giggles. That's funny. <laughs> it's like my dick over. A couple years back on PSN, PlayStation Network, I believe I heard the last argument one couple ever had. Playing GTA 4, digging around at the airport, I overhear some lady scream, I've been working all day and all you've been doing is playing that stupid game. It developed into a huge fight, and they were screaming back and forth for at least 15 minutes until his mic went quiet and his account logged off. That may have been me. Ooh, details. Well, a couple years back on PSN, I believe I had the last argument with my wife. Playing GTA 4, digging around the airport, I heard my wife scream, I've been working all day, and you've been doing this playing a stupid game. It developed into a huge fight. We were screaming back and forth for at least 15 minutes, and I turned off my mic and like, <laughs> These are two different usernames, so I'm pretty sure he's messing around. Was getting full on cussed out by a kid easily around five or six. He was literally saying, Fuck you, you fucking cunt. I hope you Satan rapes your ass and his splooge gets in your shitty eyes, you stupid little ass fucker. So we started firing back at him with everything we had. We kind of made him cry. Then his mom gets on the mic and starts yelling at us. She's telling us how we were setting a bad example for a child and we shouldn't be using that kind of language around her, someone his age. So we went off on her too, explained that her kid was being a sailor mouth little shit. She started yelling at us, saying that her kid can do whatever he wants. So we said that if he's going to talk shit like an adult, then he's going to have shit talk back to him like he's an adult. She gets even more pissed. This is the best fucking part. I'm still laughing about this. The fucking grandmother gets on the mic and starts spouting off to us. She's saying that her daughter is a fantastic mother and we need to leave them alone or she's going to call the police. <laughs> We managed to piss off a kid so bad that we got yelled at by three generations of that family in the span of a few minutes. God, it was fantastic. For those of you that are curious, we were playing Advanced Warfare. <laughs> Pissed off a kid so bad we got yelled at by three generations of the family. Wow, that's... That's some... Um, crazy stuff. Playing Call of Duty a few years back, heard a woman having a really vicious rant towards her husband who was in our team. Dick signs, suspension, mothers were berated, infidelity was confessed, the guy just played on. <laughs> Call of Duty was his safe place. A kid didn't want to drop from the game, so he went and took a crap while still talking on life. Uno games aren't. <laughs> We used radios at work warehouse, and the other day, when someone was called for, he radioed right back that he would take care of it once he was off the toilet. Uh, my girlfriend used to play WoW a lot, and was playing with her guild, and during a break, she started playing with her dog and baby talking to it. She accidentally had it muted in her mic, so her whole guild was listening, and they kept quiet and recorded it. The audio track was on the guild website for a while. <laughs> That's hilarious. A couple of years ago, I played with a guy who had Middle East background, but lived somewhere in Europe. Every time someone was in a clutch situation, he would pray for him in Arabic. Damn, I miss 1.6. My teammates just screamed at me for saving in a 1v5. I joined a COD lobby to hear this dialogue between two other gamers. Hey man, do you remember your first blowjob? Yep. What did it taste like? <laughs> Blood. Uh, what? <laughs> Too much teeth. <laughs> Playing GTA 5, and some kid's dad comes in and starts telling the kid to go to his room. Kid refuses it, and dad gets a little yelly. Finally, dad says, fine, you don't have to leave. Then yells, honey, he's gonna leave. Then I hear the unmistakable sounds of couples having very loud sex. I thought it was hilarious until I heard, what the fuck are you looking at? Just play your game. Come on, honey. Suck my cock. I muted that shit right away. Kid would rather be in the room with his parents fucking than quit GTA 5. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Casuals. That kid will be like the Martian sheen of the end of the apocalypse now in like 10 years tops. Just standing there with a blank look of horror. 
damn, my parents would have just unplugged the game console. And then, okay, let's move the rest. I'll fuck your mom's laundry in a fake English accent. That doesn't sound very pleasant for anybody. <laughs> Heard a full grown man cry when our WoW guild disbanded. Oh, that's sad. My guild wasn't disbanded, but I did cry the day one of my WoW buddies' girlfriend texted me and told me he had passed away. Rip poor four gone. Uh, that's a sadly ironic character name. I mean, did he have good friends that he spent thousands of hours playing with, realizing he'd never be able to spend that much time with him again? I can see being sad about that. I was on a roleplay site that I joined when I was 13. Those people were there through five moves. My parents separated and getting back together, getting my first boyfriend, losing my first boyfriend, figuring out I was a lesbian, etc. I was with them through much of the same, and even some worse. We were seriously close. Eventually, though, we grew up, and finding the time to visit the site became hard. Eventually, I gave up rights to the site and officially retired, since the site has died, but I still think of all of them. Some of us are married, some of them in college, some with kids, some may be dead, but we can't figure out how to find her. Most of us have fallen out of touch, but even though we were kids and I was just a roleplay site, I will always remember those people and cherish them. We grew up together and even though we never met. Hmm. I don't think that's strange though. People pour thousands of hours into a guild like that, for meaningful relationships and make fond memories of good times. I can imagine he cried. Oh yeah, some of my best times playing in game were spending a lot of time with my guild. Some frat kid arguing with his mother for half an hour because he really wants a Taco Bell Chalupa. He's being a cocky little shit, swears at her, and you can tell that he's used to pushing around his ineffective parents. Starts a little slow, but gets better as time goes on. It's glorious. Not mine, but I'm glad he uploaded it to YouTube. I am not cursing. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> okay. Troll the respawn, Jeremy. I once happily over friend... Wait, I once happily overheard a friend of mine online and to the door for a delivery package. He had his PC set up in the living room apparently and kept his mic open. Why was this unique? Because after about three whole seconds, I then got to happily overhear my friend's dog come crash into the scene and valiantly defending his owner from this delivery man. Much swearing and panicking ensued. I joined a game and straight away heard the fresh, the flesh was raw pink. I asked what flesh and got an almost instant reply. None of your fucking business. Haven't touched Black Ops since. Arby's. We're on to you. Light above the Arby's. Two of the best were. It's like Jesus Christ was born again. Only gangsta. And one dude who did commentary on the entire Halo 3 match. Professional quality broadcast commentating. It was great. Push the objective like you're delivering a baby. Just get that thing out of there. I play with some interesting people. Not strange, but caught me really off guard. A CS server I used to frequent. A guy on voice comms to say goodbye like a normal person would. But what he said was that he just finished chemo and that he would play during his treatment. Now that he wasn't getting chemo, he wouldn't have the time to play anymore. It was a nice change to hear after the usual chatter. That always sticks with me. I was playing Dawn of War on TeamSpeak with this guy, and this guy got in a loud, heated argument, accusing his wife of having an affair because she walked in the door at like midnight. We were going to kick him from the channel, but it got really juicy. Then it got scary. Then it got sad. I think he was playing to distract himself. That's sad. In my Killzone days on PS3, on the EU server occasionally, I would come across these two Russian guys that were for the whole match would just be yelling, and I mean yelling, completely unintelligible things down the mic. It was impressive how they managed to do that and actually play the game at the same time. <laughs> Get out of my pussy nigger. What was that? My brother. What? Uh... Back when Modern Warfare 2 was in its heyday, I joined a lobby that happened to have a bunch of Brits queued together. When teams were made, they were all in one team, and my team was all random Americans. One of us said, oh hey, it's funny how that happened, to which one of the Brits replied, shut up, you fat American pig. 
<laughs> but God, it was on that point. It was the American Revolution Part 2. Freedom rings twice. To their credit, it was super close, but we wanted no need to win so bad. We became a fine-tuned machine and began dominating. By the last 10 seconds of the match, we knew we won and began chanting USA, USA, USA over and over. They tried to object, but our chants were too much and they left the lobby. I haven't found an experience like that ever again, but God, it was amazing. Uh, I tend to stay pretty quiet when I'm playing online games. But there was a memorable moment that occurred about a year ago while I was playing Team Fortress 2. To be honest, no, the honest truth of the matter is that I'm absolutely terrible at most first-person shooters. If I'm lucky, I'll manage to score a single kill, maybe two, before being off by an opponent that I didn't notice. This fact was apparently unforgivable, and a young man who was so offended by my skills, or lack thereof, wasted no time or breath in informing me. Oh my god, he shouted. You fucking suck. Seriously, you fucking suck. I can't believe how much you fucking suck. At first, I ignored the triade. The t tirade. As time went on, though, I realized that the fellow didn't appear to say anything beyond, oh my god, I seriously can't believe how much you fucking suck. His entire vocabulary could seemingly be derived from those 12 words. I took it as a challenge. After fumbling a bit to figure out which key activated a microphone, I responded back with a tirade of my own, while imitating Kermit the Frog's voice. Hey man, I replied. I heard you got kicked out of the military school for being too boring. Don't ask me what I meant by that. It was a nonsensical insult that was intended to provoke the fellow. Fuck you, the conversational opponent shouted. It seemed like my verbal jad had done the trick, as there was a sudden tone of real rage in his voice. Fuck you, you fucking fuck, fucking fuck, you fucking suck, God. I did my best to suppress I laughed, then switched to imitating Cookie Monster. Me no think you have good reason of English. Me think you only know words like fuck and suck. Me think you should learn, learn words like cookie. Fuck you. You fucking, you are seriously the biggest fucking loser. Whoa, I replied, still as cookie monster. You use some new words. Now say cookie. The young man's frustration was audibly increasing as he shouted fuck you back at me and was a tinge of fear that I detected. Cookie, I replied. Fucking stop. You're fucking creepy and you fucking suck. There was definitely some sort of mounting discomfort in the guy's voice. Had I discovered, I wondered, the one individual on the planet with a phobia about Muppets? Cookie, stop fucking, stop fucking around. I went silent for about five seconds. Then, starting in a low, ominous growl, and moving in a tone of a maniac instantly, I went for the kill. Cookie... As much as I'd love to say the young man burst into tears, disconnected, and left the world of online gaming forever, the truth of the matter is more one day, though not by much. Midway through my long-winded bellow, the guy flipped out and started screaming a near gibberish. The occasional fuck and so on was still audible, but it seemed like he had been reduced to offering wordless exclamations while his voice cracked. This went on for the rest of the match. The guy didn't stop until the very end when he managed to squeak out a final fuck you, you suck before disconnecting. My team lost the match, but I'd like to think that I won the war. <laughs> I drove a guy bananas by talking about cookies. Alright, this is kind of... I think that's enough of this. Ooh, these are some long ones.